we're going to talk about how to find a pattern. We're still working with three-digit numbers. We're going to find number patterns. This is lesson 9.6. A number pattern is an ordered set of numbers that will help us to predict what number will come next. That's all. That's what we're going to look for. It's going to help us figure out what number comes next. When we make a chart of three-digit numbers, we can find patterns. Here's a chart of 301 to 400. The rows are going across. These are the rows. And the columns are going down. And the rows, as they go to the right, they're adding a 1. It adds a 1. Each number is 1 larger. For the columns, as we go down, it adds a 10. And it doesn't matter which column we choose, it's adding a 10. It's 10 more. Look at this pattern. If we go down diagonally like this, when we come down on a slant like that, that's diagonal, it's adding 11. If we have 301 and it goes down to a 312 diagonally, that's 11 more. 323 is 11 more than this one. 334 is 11 more than that one. So as we go down diagonally, it's adding an 11. Isn't that neat? Now look at this one. If we go diagonally down this way, we're only going to add 9. You would think it would be like an 11 like the other one, going diagonally this way, but it's not. 310 moves to 319. 319, that only added a 9, didn't it? 328, that added a 9 to 319. 337 added a 9 to 328. So when we come down diagonally this way, we're only adding a 9. And if we go upwards, the numbers are going to get smaller. If we start down here and go upwards, the numbers get smaller. So that means we're going to subtract if we go upwards, and we're going to add if we go downwards. See? We can fill in the missing numbers. I have a chart here that goes from 401 to 500. And there's some missing numbers here. They're all in order. One more. 401, 402, 403, 404, 405. So you know what would go there? If you said 406, you're right. So we can fill in the missing numbers by following the pattern from that chart. 404, 405, 406. 407, 408. What would go here? 423, and then something, 424, would fit perfect, wouldn't it? Do you see what's happening in the ones place? The hundreds and the tens are staying the same, but the ones are going up. 3, 4, 5, 6. So do you know what would go here? You could even look at the numbers above and see what's happening. This has a 3 in the 1's place, that has a 5 in the 1's place, that has a 6 in the 1's place. But the 10's are going up, right? So we could go down this way, and instead of 424, that would be 434. And that would fit, too. Because if we go this way, 433, 434, 435, 436. Now what about this one? 442... What would be the very next number? What would come after 442? It goes to 444 after that. If you said 443, you're right. That would be one more. What would be one more here? 452. If you said 453, you're right. How about here? 483? And then something, 485, 486. If you said 484, you're right. The hundreds and the tens are staying the same, and the ones are going up by one. See that? How about here? 493, 494, 495, right? So these were easy because they went up by one. And that's how the numbers were missing on our hundreds chart because they all go up by one as we go that way, right? 
So now let's see, these are going to be a little bit different. If we can find the pattern and write the missing number in the pattern, can you tell what the missing numbers are and what this pattern is? Well, the hundreds are all staying the same. It's all 700, 700, 700, 700. The ones place are 0, 0, 0, and 0. So the tens place is changing. 720, 730, 740. So if you said 750, you're right. And this would be 760. The tens are going up by 1. See the pattern? It's increasing by 10. That's the pattern. How about this one? 996, 997. Well, the change between these two is just a 1, going from the 6 to the 7. And the change between 999 and 1,000 is just a 1. So that must be changing by 1. What's 1 more than 997? 998. All right, let's try this one. We have 943, 944. What would go here? If you said 945, you're right. And this would be 946. And this would be 947. It went up by 1, didn't it? 943, 944, 945, 946, 947. What's happening with this one? This one's a little bit harder. We have 912, but then it went down to 910. It went smaller. Then it went down to 908. It went smaller again. So what's happening here? What's the difference between these two? They have the same hundreds, a 9. They have the same tens. They have a 110. But look at there's two in the ones place, and now there's zero in the ones place. So the difference between these two numbers is a two. It changed and went down by two. The difference between a 10 and an 8 is two. 10 take away two is an 8. So the hundreds are still the same, but it went down by two. It went down by two. So if we went down by another two, what number would go here? Do you know? What's 8 take away two? You know it would be 900. It would be 906, wouldn't it? And then if we went down by 2 again, do you know what it would be? If you said 904, you're right. What if we go down by another 2? If we take 2 more away from that 4? If you said 902, you're right. It just went down by 2s, see? We could even go this way and say, see it goes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. See that? While the hundreds all stay as a 9. See the pattern? All right, this one's going to be a little harder. Let's see if we could do this. We have 533, 541, 549, and then some missing numbers. So how are these changing? What's the change between these two numbers and these two numbers? Well, it's going up, so it's adding something, because that's a bigger number than 533. So let's try seeing how much it added. 533, 534, 535, 536, 537, 538, 539, 540, 541. Oh, that was a plus 8 here. It added 8 to get to 541. Now, what's the difference between 541 and 549? If we add 8 again, would that make 549? 41 plus 8 makes 49? Yeah, it does. So it looks like the pattern is a plus 8. See that? We're adding 8, we get this number. We add 8, we get this number. So what would happen if we added 8 here? We know that the hundreds are going to stay a 5. But what's happening with the tens and the ones? 49, let's add 8 to 49. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. So it'd be 557. We need to add another 8. 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. 
So that'd be 565. Now we need to add another 8 to finish the pattern. We can add 8 to the 65. We know the hundreds are going to stay as a 5. 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. 573. So the pattern was to add 8. See that? Let's try this one. We have 372 and then it went down to 369. Then it went down to 366. So what's happening? What's the pattern? What's the change between this number and this number and then the change between this number and this number? Can you tell? Well, if we go the other way, from 369 to 372, let's see how much the difference is. 369, 370, 371, 372. So there was a difference of 3 between these numbers. So 372 had a minus 3, and it became 369. Is there another minus 3? The 9 is now a 6? Yeah. So it looks like our pattern is minus 3. So if we take 3 away from this, if we have 366 and we take away 3, 6 take away 3 is 3, and we drop down the 6 and the 3, the next number is 363. That was minus 3. Now what if we minus 3 again? Well, we could just take away this 3 from the 1's place, couldn't we? Then we'll have 360. What if we minus 3 again? This one's going to be a little harder. If we have 60 minus 3, 360 minus 3. Do you remember regrouping? If we have 360 and we want a minus 3, we can't take 3 away from 0, so we have to regroup. And this 6 becomes a 5, and that 0 becomes a 10. Remember? 10 take away 3 is a 7. This 5 comes down because there's nothing to subtract here, and then the 3 comes down. See? So the next number should be 353. 7, I'm sorry. 357. See? So the pattern was minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. See that? Let's see if we can figure out this pattern. 890, 880, 870. Do you see the pattern? Do you see what it's doing? What's the change between this number and this number? And what's the change between this number and this number? It looks like the hundreds are staying the same, but the tens place is going down by 1. That means... It's minus 10. 890 minus 10 is 880. It's 110 less. If we take away another 10, that's 870. So it looks like our pattern is minus 10. If we minus 10 again here, 870 would be 860, wouldn't it? Because the tens place is just going to go down by 1. If we minus 10 again, then we'll be at, do you know, 850. Then we have to minus 10 again to get to the last one. And that would be 110 less, so that would be a 4. That would be 840. See? So the way to find a pattern is to try to find the change between the first two numbers and then find the change between the second number and the third number. And if you have more, you can find the change between the third number and the fourth number and see if there's a pattern that keeps happening. And then just follow that pattern. If it says plus 10, keep adding 10. If it says minus 9, keep subtracting 9 to get to the next number. Okay? And you can use the hundreds chart to help you. And they have a lot of them online. They even have blank ones that you can write in your own numbers. Okay? I'm going to continue talking about patterns and numbers to a thousand. And I'll see you next video. Bye.